Hey there, I am Sherry Samuels, the voice coach, and this is your thought for the week. So have you ever been in a situation where you've tried to control all parts of what was happening and been frustrated because everything that you planned for, everything that you prepared for, everything that you were trying to control seemed to be out of your control, seemed to be not going as you wanted, as you had hoped. You know, we've all been there and it feels frustrating and overwhelming. What I think it's important to remember is that that need for control, it's often because there's this belief, this quiet belief, this quiet voice, this inner piece of us that feels some sense of safety when we are in control of a situation. And then when we're not in control, that safety goes away. That sense of security goes away. So what do we do? Of course, we try to make sure that we can control everything and even every person in our lives. But guess what? And when we do that, we are keeping ourselves from moving forward. We are keeping ourselves from living life authentically. So what's a girl to do, right? So I think it's important to start with awareness. And it's important, not just awareness, but non-judgmental awareness. When we can say to ourselves, hey, you know what? I like to be in control of things. I like to have a sense of control in everything that's going on in my life. When we can say that without judgment, we are taking care of ourselves. So often when we notice that there's something that we wanna change in our lives, we can get very judgy with ourselves and say, hey, you should be better at that. You should be doing this different. But that's not helpful. It only serves to keep us stuck, to keep us from moving forward with ease when we're judging ourselves. But choosing non-judgmental awareness allows us to move forward and then to step into this place of understanding. Why is that important? Because understanding allows us to really start to dig deep inside, to connect to that inner voice that's looking for that sense of safety and security, and to figure out what are the stories, what are the things behind this, so that we can then move into a place of reframing. Reframing those old negative stories, that old messaging that no longer serves us, but drives us to push for control. When we're able to reframe those stories, we are able to take control of the only thing that we truly have control over. That is ourselves. That's our life. That is how we respond to things. The only thing that we can control in this life is ourselves. How we respond, what we say, what we do, how we move forward. So taking the time to reframe says, hey, I'm giving myself the power. I am creating a sense of security and safety that is unshakable because I know how to talk to myself. I know how to take care of myself. I know how to sh show myself the love and care that I need in order to move forward. You're addressing that inside voice, that inner voice that needs that little something to remind itself that, hey, I'm okay, I'm here everything is going to be okay. So I encourage you this week, when you are feeling like you need to be in control of something or you're pushing, driving for control of everything around you, take a step back, take a breath, and just remember to be non-judgmental with yourself, to be aware of it and say, hey, you know what? What's happening here? And then do the work to reframe the story. You can do it again and again and again. I am Sherry Samuels, The Voice Coach, and this was your thought for the week. And if you need support in moving to that place of non-judgmental non awareness and really connecting to that ability to reframe those old stories, message me. I would love to sit down and have a conversation with you about how I can support you in moving forward with that. And if you are a Black woman who is looking to create community with other women who are also on that move to connect, heal, learn, and grow, to learn how to better reframe those old stories, to create better communication with the ones that they love, and most importantly, with ourselves, then you definitely want to join my next Chrysalid Coaching Circle starting on Tuesday, February 8th. For more information, visit my website, sherrysamuels.com, or you can always just email me, sherry at sherrysamuels.com.